Hello there. It's Monday night. I said I'd be back tonight to let you see what this looks like. So I have these items because I hope to sew in the signature. I'm not sure if it's going to happen because I was going to use washi tape here. Let me just say, I hope you've had a great day today. I just jumped right in and just began to say what I'm doing and how I'm trying to do it and all things. But let me say that I hope that you've had a great day today on this Monday. My day was pretty fair and I just finished cleaning up the kitchen from dinner and all things like that. Making some iced tea for the week and you know now I'm sitting here my hands are cold and I want to just get my video done. Because my hands are cold, okay? And um, it's like, here is what became of the gluing of the tissue paper. I have a functional spine. And the tissue paper is, you know, not crumbly and hard. It's still soft. You can still hear, you know, all of that crinkly that I thought about. And this is the inside. So I think it turned out pretty well. I like it a whole lot. And so this is what it looks like. I even said on yesterday that I was going to trim it. I don't think I'm going to do any trimming right now. I think I'm going to keep it because I think it just adds something to the journal itself. And um, in all actuality, I could layer some more paper on there if I want. It's not hard. It's soft. And it's, you know, the paper is smooth. It's just stuck, stuck onto, you know, the paper that was there. The cardboard it was not cardboard. It's actually cardstock. And so it's curled up like this because that's the way it dried. And it's still all good. So I have my papers pulled. I didn't pull all kinds of paper. I just chose to get some tea dyed, coffee dyed, and a little bit of the hand painted with the uh, metallic watercolors. And I have 20 sheets, two signatures. So folded, that makes uh, 40. And then I have another set here. And so the two together will make a total of 80 sheets. For this journal and so that's what it'll be like it'll come together in this way inside of here and it's just a little bit of hanging there so I have to trim that much back and this sets good down in here so that's pretty good this part hanging out I'm not too concerned about because some of the paper from the tissue paper is hanging over and I might add some more so it hangs out a little bit more. I think this is fabulous. I really do. I think it's really nice. And so I was wondering, okay, so what are you going to do for the actual spine? At first I was going to use some washi tape to put on there and then I thought about the washi tape might be... Oh goodness, this is my crinkly steps and my heavy sun. And so, um, I have to push pause right now for a second because this boy is running out the door. And I don't want to start my video over. That's just how life is sometimes, you know. It's like you got to go with the flow and you got to, you know, mix it in. Nobody was prepared for him to be running out the door just now. Meanwhile... I was going to put the washi on here, but then I said this tape is a bit shiny. And if I add the glue stick to it, it'll probably do better than white glue to um, just hold the washi a little bit better than, um, you know, it going down itself. But if I use this tacky glue on the other hand, I may have to wait for that to dry tomorrow or something like that to see for when I go to sewing in my signatures, if it's going to hold or if it's going to pull away and then it'll just be curled up like this paper. So that's what I was looking at. Meanwhile, I'm going to move this out of the way and all of these gadgets and gizmos of material and I'm going to show you this. So this is a big, um, let me take this off of here. Um, I bought this about, I don't know, 
I don't know. I bought it way before Thanksgiving of last year um, from the thrift store. And if you caught that tag, it was $1.99. And it's a very big... I bought this way back when I was um, showing my antique dolls. That's when I bought it a long time ago, way back then. But I thought this was pretty cool um, in that I was only going to be doing one or two journals. And I said, this has a lot of different um, fabrics in it and a lot of different um, stitching or piping and rope and all things like that. So you get, you know, this, which is around the edges also. Then you have a different type of... Um, uh, what they call this stuff, not embroidery, but, um, fabric, it's fabric, like, but I was thinking about when they have in the couch and they say they're going to, um, I'm sorry, y'all. And let me just say that I have since COVID, I have been, um, losing my words. And so I don't really know why, but that's what it is. And sometimes I cannot think of the word that, is on my mind to say. Um, but when you read a poster, that's what I'm looking for. A postery type of fabric is what I was thinking of. So, um, yeah, that, that happens and it's very frustrating. So I'm trying to, um, learn how to talk slower, right? And, and learning how to talk slower, it's, it's something I have to learn because I'm not, had to do that all of my life. But um, in this season, it seems that the words that are right there in the front of my mind that I want to say, I cannot find the word to say it, although I know what it is. So um, got this here. Feels like the couch. This feels like a type of pillow decorative pillow case that would be on a fancy bed somewhere so it's nice and heavy and everything like that and I didn't know how I was going to take it apart to utilize it but today I'm thinking that I'm going <clears throat> excuse me to go for a part of it to use it for my spine that's what I wanted to do I wanted to see what part I could actually get um to see if I can do a wrap around for my spine. And so that's where I am. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to just cut somewhere and hope that I can take something apart of this beauty here because th this is the purpose I bought it for. So let's try and cut on this seam here. Okay, and we will go up here. It's got some kind of stuffing in it, so let's just cut alongside and see what comes out of this one strip. Okay. These are very sharp scissors, very sharp shears, I should say. I bought these from Timu, and they were like $7, $6 and some change, or $7 and some change. I think they were 6 and some change. Yes, and uh, they're very, very sharp, very pointy, very sharp. So we will just see what we can do with this piece. Prayerfully, it'll work out just fine. If not, we'll come back and we'll get a piece of this or something like that. So you got this layer, then you have this lining, and then you can use this for something. I'm not sure what yet. Some kind of pillow or something. I'm not sure. But that's not what we're doing right now. This cut in half, I'm not sure how I did that, but maybe it was stitched right there somewhere. Anyway, we'll come back to this piece. In the future, maybe on camera, maybe off. And so, uh, yeah, that's where that rope got cut right there. I see it right here. So, pull that out. And then, 
we will try and open up this piece here and see what we can get without cutting it too like mangled. I don't want to mess up either side, but I just want to open it up. Okay, and we got that so far. So we're going to turn it and do that on this end. I didn't know what I was going to use. I thought about maybe I should use a piece of fabric. And then I thought about lace. And when I walked over to the side, off to my left, and I said, oh yeah, I can use that pillowcase. That's pretty. It goes with all of this gold. You know, I think that is kind of, you know, a good combination. So let's see what we can get out of here. I don't know. Might work, might not work. Okay, so we got this. Separate all of this. And this should be a off the camera moment, I guess. It's like, I don't really know. But maybe somebody wants to know how to save a few pennies instead of going to the fabric store you can look around at the thrift store and you can find very nice pillowcases or um curtains and things like that and maybe somebody do that all the time i don't really know but i'm just trying to utilize what i have and make it make it make sense okay if it makes sense, good. And if it doesn't, we have to uh, find something else because it didn't work. So, I just come along here. I mean, if this doesn't work for this whole spine piece, I still can use this material either side of it um, to wrap around a journal as a, a closure piece. So... That's an idea also. I wanted to pull this, but I wasn't sure if pulling it, it might uh, rip off instead of making a ragged edge where the strings are coming out of it. All right, so we got that off, and now we got to kind of cut this piece out. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, but that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to cut this piece out of the middle without it um, cutting the seam. Because if it cuts the seam, then it, it'll probably be two parts. I don't really know if that'll be enough. So first, I just want to take this apart. This is not um, easy. Let's say that it's not easy because I'm trying not to cut the other side. Only, well, I think I just split it. Well, we may as well just go down then because if one is split, it's not going to, you know what I'm saying, help me. I either have to use a split piece or sew it. And I'm not going to sew it. So we're going to just take this one side off. I was trying so carefully as much as I could to uh, not do that. And I need to watch my thumb because I felt the tip of that blade. And these babies are very, very sharp. Okay, so we have that. Let's see. Okay, this part is not separated. Well, now it is. Okay, so now let's see if we can use this and if it will give us a nice, it's a little rough and rugged looking now, but that's fine. This is a junk journal. Oh, yeah, I think that's good. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so then we can just make it nice and 
snug but not too and then we're going to cut it in a way where it comes together with this um i wanted to let's see um i gotta cut it in a way i need it to be tight enough but loose enough okay maybe we shouldn't try to Maybe we should try to make it like so. And then just take this flat piece without this. Okay, that's what we're going to try to do. All right, we're going to try that. And hopefully that works really well for us. Uh-oh. And we're just going to put some of this down. And give it a finger smush all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge, all the way to the edge of the spine side. And maybe we need a little bit more, just a wee bit. And then take it to the edge all the way. And just make sure that it's all the way over, all the way to the edges. Okay, and then we're going to lay this about there. Okay, just like that. And it's okay if it uh, comes through a little bit. It's going to be fine. And then we'll come this way and we will put the same thing here. A good amount. And then give it a finger smush. And remember this glue is coming all the way to about here. The tape. And then over this way. So we got plenty of play space with that. And we'll just put this on here in a good amount so that it can grab it and hold it. So I'll probably not be able to um, do anything with this tonight. I'm going to run this down here so it can run off the edge so it won't come off. All right. And that's okay. We'll clean that all up onto there. And let that be there. All right. And that's good. Put that down. And then we'll take this one. Let's run it down here. Make sure it's spilling over a little bit. So that it grabs that piece and holds it on. No playroom. We don't want a playroom like that. Okay, and then I'm going to put some glue here. I don't want too much, but not too much. It's wet, but we can rescue it, and it's fine. Okay, put that all over there. Bring this back. Put that up, and then smush this in here. And make sure all of this gets down and they are nice and saturated because it's on the tape. I have no idea how any of this will turn out. It's the same way it was when I started last night. It's like, I don't know what the tissue paper is going to look like, or how it's going to act, but it apparently is complying for the idea. And so... We just want to make sure that this can happen. That's pretty. Very nice. Very nice. So, we can't play with this anymore. We have to let this dry. So, that's the end of that for this tonight. For this part, at least. Okay? And we will find something else to do. 
This is on my mat. Okay. We'll give all of that up too. All right. And now, that's that. And that's 20 minutes. And so, I will end this video right here. And I'll start another one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I guess I have to get something together. And then come back. I'm not sure. Um, I have probably an hour. So I'm not sure what I can do. Um, I have another book. So let me just end this. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know do you think this was, you know, a good idea that I use this in this spine area. I hope it turns out well and that it'll stick to the tape and because there's no fabric there. This is plastic and I don't know how that's going to happen because this tape. But you never know. And I'm still going to sew it. So, you know, the signatures have to be bound in here. So I will have to put two here and then two right there directly and then two here. And that'll hold that together. I just hope that it doesn't start uh, lifting up and popping up or doing something crazy. But anyway, we'll find out because we don't know. All of this is like a let's see what we are doing and how we can do it type of thing. But I think it's very, very pretty. And um, I hope that it turns out really nice. So that's the end of this video. I'll be back in a few minutes, I think. Otherwise, I will be back on tomorrow. No, I won't. I will not be back on tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and I have to do my laundry tomorrow. And I don't have washing machine and dryer at home, so I have to go out to do laundry. And so I won't be back again until Thursday if I don't do a video tonight. So let me go so I can see if I can find something that I can do a video with. Maybe, I don't know. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.